I'm along today as I go to a Toronto street festival, specifically the one on Dundas Street West called the Due West Fest. And the purpose of this video is so that you guys can see different things that you can do here in Toronto and what the street festivals are really like. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, which is going to be a little bit different, but it should be really fun. So let's get to it. The Due West Fest is from Ossington Avenue to Lansdowne Avenue on Dundas Street West and it is for the weekend, so Friday, Saturday and Sunday. This is Toronto's start to the summer in the heart of Little Portugal. And 2024 actually marks the 11th anniversary of this festival, which has music, art, food, fun and community that come along on this street of Dundas Street West. And so it's really fun. It covers about 16 West End Toronto blocks of the city. So let's go take a look at what that looks like. One thing that I noticed that they did this year that's new is the fact that they didn't block the main intersection. So main streets like Dufferin and Ossington, as an example, were left unblocked so that traffic could pass through. And usually they block it off completely going west to east, but this time this year they didn't. As you can see, there was definitely a lot of people and we also definitely went at a busy time. It was around 7 p.m. So I would say dinner time. So of course there was a lot of people there at this time. And so first thing we're gonna show you is the food, of course. The most popular thing at these festivals is all the delicious food options that you have. And as you can see, they're all different types of food, different cultural foods. You're always gonna find a lot of different food trucks and a lot of different options. There's lots of restaurants also along this street. So a lot of them did create like tents outside where they were serving their food outside as well. So you get a combination of things, but there's definitely a lot of food options, dessert, drinks, all kinds of things. So take a look at just some of the options that we saw here as we were walking down the street. So fun fact, my friend was actually just telling me about these potatoes that it's on a stick and I was like, what do you mean? Anyways, we found the place and I actually filmed them creating these interesting chips and they're all fresh. It's like real tomatoes and they're actually making it in front of you, which is really cool. They have these interesting machines that actually cut them up. Like you see it spinning there and yeah they were really interesting and she had it she really liked it so something to try out different i know i've never seen anything like this before anyways here's the girl now putting the different toppings on top so you can have different flavors um, I think my friend had like the ketchup or something like that but anyways there's a whole bunch of different flavors that you can choose from and yeah something interesting to try out next time that you go to the, one of these festivals And it's not just about food, you're also going to see a lot of different pop-ups for artwork, whether that's clothing, vintage finds, jewelry. There really was a whole bunch of different options of things that you could buy and shop while you're at the festival as well. So that was really interesting. I'll let you take a look. And even though we were in Little Portugal, there wasn't too many booths that were Portuguese uh, food options either. Um, but there was this booth that we found with all the things coming straight from Portugal. So that was really cool. We also noticed this crowd and we were wondering what was happening. And what we noticed is that there was a few businesses on the street that had like certain activities and, you know, they were doing things to give away prizes and stuff in front of their store. And so this one in particular was a boxing store. And so what they had was that people can kind of do competitions and see how hard you can hit and you would get like a point or, you know, things of that nature. So 
they had activities like this going on they had another gym as well that was doing something similar so like this guy here is seeing how long he can hang for so they were having like competitions and there was even services going on like this person getting a haircut so that was really interesting um, another thing I noticed that there was different stages where it actually had bands playing so there was live music and of course people just had like their own parties going on at their booths so this one was pretty lit and then you have the street performers and the baby definitely took the show away she was so cute she was basically just following everything the dancer was doing and she was just trying to copy him and she definitely was the entertainment for the night they also had a lot of different activities for children and families so they had a lot of these games where you could win prizes and they had a lot of different options honestly throughout the festival so that's something that you can do with family and kids as well so this is the point when it started to rain a little bit more and we wanted to be comfortable eating so we decided to go to our restaurant on ozington this one is a mexican restaurant we figured that by the time we're done eating you know the rain will stop and then we can enjoy the festival at night so this is the spot that we went to we both end up getting the same thing tacos well we got two different types of tacos me and my friend but they were both really good so 10 out of 10 the spot and it was really cute inside too so we really liked it so we had to cut it short because of the rain unfortunately it didn't stop after the restaurant it just continued so that was that but earlier in the day it was actually really sunny so the weather's just kind of been all over the place today but there was a portugal parade that they do so that area by the way is called little portugal and so there was a portugal parade earlier today so i want to show you guys little clips of that as well Like you guys still got a good amount in to be able to see like what the festival is all about and so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did like this video tap that subscribe button and tap that bell notification so you can get more videos like this and watch this one next so until next time guys see you around the city and god bless